Shake the shake. Is that a medium, small, or large? Sounds like a medium. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Hey everyone, so this morning I am going in to get my backlift and pump for my spasms. The past few days I've been recording little clips of my body spasms just to kind of document and remember them by because the pump is supposed to take them away. And I've been dealing with these for 11 years, every single day. Every night I sleep with tie downs over my legs to keep them down at night. I'm gonna get in the pump this morning, but I wanted to kick my legs out one more time and uh, just show you the spasms that I have to deal with and usually when I kick them out my legs will start shaking and the spasm will go up even into my upper body and my arms so we'll see how they are this morning. Too bad. <laughs> that, that's not bad. <laughs> All right. So today I'm getting my back and pump surgery. I just got checked in at Chalk Hospital. I'm about to change into my gown, and then I'll go in for my actual procedure. So hopefully everything will go smooth today. It's about the size of a hockey puck, and it will go underneath the skin of my stomach, and it has a catheter that will go around my side and connect it to my spine. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little nervous, but. Hoping it's gonna work out for the best. Have a good one. He's already. He does have a condom cap on. Okay. Hey. And the leg break from on, home? The, on the right leg. Okay. Yes. From home, right? Yes. Yes. And then I'll turn you. you guys I can't um, believe you're awake. Dang. Doctor said he was pleased. Couldn't be more pleased. <laughs> What's up everyone? So I just got out of surgery. I woke up about five minutes ago and wanted to record a quick little update. The back of the pump surgery went great. The doctor said everything couldn't have gone more perfectly. So that is great news. I feel really good, no pain. I can't even tell it's there right now. I haven't looked at the incision yet, but um, just wanted to record a quick little update. And uh, yeah, I'll record another update in a few hours to see how I'm doing. All right, so this is my post-surgery room for the night. Just trying to rest and relax, watching some Jaws. So it's been about six hours since my surgery and I woke up. Thankfully, I'm not in a lot of pain at all right now. I actually feel pretty good, just tired. I saw the incision for the pump. It's a little bigger than I thought it would be. Um, so I'm just resting in the hospital for, they wanna keep me overnight and uh, see how I'm doing tomorrow morning pain-wise. I also have an incision in my back uh, where the catheter connected, which uh, is a lot, I think it's a, much smaller incision but yeah they did two one in the front one in the back so I'm just resting and kind of just want to document these steps and stuff and how I'm doing after the surgery so yeah that'll be it for this part and I'll see you in my next one hey everyone I'm just now getting discharged I got back in my chair for the first time uh, since the procedure I'm gonna go home and lay back down but 
I want to show you the scar from a different angle. So this was the, the scar for the pump. It actually, if you look at my stomach, it's almost kind of hard to even tell there's anything underneath. I, I was expecting it to kind of protrude a little bit more. It doesn't look as bad as I thought, but I'll keep making little update videos. So I'll see you in my next one. In the last clip, I just said this is my scar and I wanted to clarify, this is not how it's gonna look when it heals. This was just my incision. And so over time, it's gonna heal and get better. So I just wanted to clarify that because I know I kind of misspoke. Fresh air. Yeah, it feels good to be outside. Yeah. <laughs> hey everyone. So I've been home for a few days now since I got my Baclofen pump. I wanted to record a quick update. I've already noticed a huge positive difference in my pump. It has taken away my spasms. It's doing exactly what I was hoping it would do. It's still early on. Um, I'm still healing. I'm gonna go back and see my doctor in about a week just to kind of talk about the correct dosage. Right now, they said I'm on the lowest there is, and if I want to, I can crank it up. But as you can see from the earlier videos of when I was spasming, right now, when I just, when I move my legs, I have, there's no spasms. It's been really amazing for me. The first time in 10 years, I slept in my bed without having my legs tied down, which was a really weird experience because I've been doing that pretty much since my accident and then to all of a sudden be able to not have to tie my legs down because they're not kicking up anymore has been really amazing. So like I said, there's still some few kinks I'm gonna have to figure out. I'm gonna end this video here. I'll probably gonna record a part two once I heal more and kind of get things more figured out. One of the things I really wanted to do was document my baclofen pump experience because I know there's gonna be people out there who are curious and also hesitant. I waited basically a decade to get this just because I was nervous, I wasn't sure, but having it already in me for a few days and noticing the, the difference, it's night and day. Um, I'm really excited. It, it's doing what I was hoping it would do and I wanted to give you guys an update. Comment any questions you have below. I'll try to answer them and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.